Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In my previous video, I have shown the details of a NAND gate, how it works and a demo with two input NAND gate. In today's video, I am not going into much detail about what is a NAND gate. I will only show the demo of triple three input NAND gate with two ICs. One is 74LS10 and one is CD4023. Both of these are triple three input NAND gate ICs and we will see the practical demo of this. Let us have a brief look at the schematic and the truth table of a three input NAND gate. This is the symbol of a three input NAND gate where ABC are inputs and y is the output and y equal to a dot b dot c complement. In simple words, output is the inversion of an AND gate. If we look at the truth table, if all the inputs or any of the inputs are 0, the output is 1 and when all the inputs are 1, the output is 0. We will check this truth table in the practical demo. Now we will see the pinout diagram of the ICs we are going to test. At the left side, here are the pinout diagram of 74LS10IC or 7410IC and at the right side, there is a pinout diagram for CD4 ic as we said both of these are triple three input nand gates so in each of the ic's there are three nand gates each having three inputs this is segment one this is segment two and this is segment three and in this ic this is segment one this is segment two and this is segment three in our practical demo we will only test the segment two that is input pin number three four five and output pin number six here also input pin number three four five and output pin number six as only this IC configuration is same in both the ICs, we will check this segment only. So now let's have a look at the circuit diagram that we are going to build. This is the circuit diagram I have shown using 74LS10 IC. We are using only one segment as we have mentioned, pin number 345 input and 6 output. So we have given the input using these three switches, switch A, switch B and switch C. One side of the switch is connected to the input pins and the other side of the switches are connected to positive power supply. Each of the switches is connected with an LED that displays the input status. So when we press the switch, the LEDs will glow and we can understand whether the input is 1 or the input is 0. These three LEDs are connected via a current limiting resistance to the ground and all the input pins pin number 3, 4, 5 are connected to the ground via a pull down resistance of 10K. The pull down resistances are used because when the switch is not pressed, there is no input at the input pin. So the output may fluctuate at that time. So to keep those pin grounded at that time, we have used these 10K resistances and the output pin number 6 is connected to another LED via a current limiting resistance and this LED will glow when the output is high and when the output is low, this LED will not glow. Pin number 7 is connected to negative power supply, pin number 14 is connected to positive power supply. So this circuit is very simple. Now we will move on to the practical demo. Here are the two ICs that we are going to test today. These two are three input NAND gate ICs. One is 74LS10 and one is CD4023. Both of the ICs are 14 pin ICs and if we start counting the pins from the left side of the notch, here is the notch you can see in both the ICs. So pin number 1 to pin number 7 and pin number 8 to pin number 14. In this IC also pin number 1 to pin number 7 and pin number 8 to pin number 14. In our practical demo, we will test only one segment of the NAND gates that is pin number 3, 4, 5 input and 6 output. Because other pin configurations are different in two ICs, we will test only this segment. For this IC, pin number 3, 4, 5 in and 6 out and in this IC also pin number 3, 4, 5 in and 6 out. So let us now move on to the prototype of the circuit. So here we can see the prototype that we have built. These three are the input switches which is connected to LED. This switch is connected to this LED, this switch to this LED and this switch to this LED. These LEDs will show the input status and one LED we have used here that is the output status LED. As we have discussed in the circuit, this will glow when the output is high and these three are the pull down resistors. This is the current limiting resistance to this LED and this is the current limiting resistance for these three LEDs. While testing the circuit, we found that the IC74LS10 is malfunctioning when pin number 7 is connected directly to the ground. So we used a 220 ohms resistance to the ground pin and it worked perfectly. Now first we will test the 74LS10 IC. Now we will put the IC on the breadboard. We have put the IC on the breadboard. You can see the inputs are given to pin number 3, 4 and 5 and the output is taken from pin number 6 to this LED. Now we will apply the power supply. This circuit works in 5 volt so we are applying 5 volt positive power supply and 5 volt negative power supply. See as soon as we connected the power supply 
the output LED started glowing. It is because when all the inputs to the NAND gate are zero, the output is high or one. Now we will compare it with the truth table of a NAND gate. The truth table of a NAND gate says when any of the inputs are low, the output is high and when all the inputs are high, the output is low. Now let us match it with the truth table of a NAND gate. So 000 is one. When all the inputs are zero, the output is one. 001 is one. 010 is one. 011 is one. 100 is 1, 101 is 1, 110 is 1, and 111 is 0. So you see, when all the inputs are high, the output is low, and when any of the input or all the inputs are 0, the output is high. So this 74LS10 IC satisfies the truth table of a 3 input NAND gate. Now we will remove this IC and we'll check it with CD4023 IC. First, we are turning off all the inputs. As soon as all become zero, the output becomes one. Now we are removing the IC and putting CD4023 IC. Here also you see, as soon as we connected the IC, the output LED started glowing because all the inputs are low, so the output is high. Now we will match the output of this IC also with the truth table of a NAND gate. So 000 is one, 001 is 1, 010 is 1, 011 is 1, 100 is 1, 101 is 1, 110 is 1, 111 is 0. So you can see the output of CD4023 IC also matches the truth table of a NAND gate. So we have seen the function of a 3 input NAND gate. If you have any confusion about 3 input NAND gate, please feel free to ask me in the comments and in our next video, we will see a 4 input NAND gate. If you like our video, please hit the like button and if you have not already subscribed to our channel, do subscribe so that I get inspiration to post new videos. And today I conclude here, we will meet again in a new video. Till then, bye bye, take care. Have a nice time. Thank you.